guys, it's Wednesday and I have company coming tomorrow on Thursday and I have this long list that I created yesterday of everything that I need to clean, which I will show you in just a minute here. But I created that list yesterday and as I was creating it, I was like, future Blair is not going to like past Blair because I have so much to do. But we have company coming to town tomorrow and I've got to get our house in order. So I thought I would do a clean with me. Hopefully this is motivating or fun to watch if you like this kind of thing. So let's get going. Let's clean the house. So here's the list that I have so far for today. And it's quite a lot. It's pretty much every room in our house and every surface and everything. Um, but I will add to it and um, cross things off as my day goes on but first things first i am going to empty and reload the dishwasher and wipe down and clean up the kitchen so the first thing i'm starting with is my kitchen and the first thing i always like to do when i'm cleaning my kitchen is empty the dishwasher and then reload it and that way my countertops are pretty much cleared the dishes are put away and i actually have a room to work and to clean so i just finished emptying the dishwasher and now I'm reloading it with the things that are in the sink and the various things that are around on the countertops. We had quite a few dishes when I was cleaning on this day and um, had just gotten that new griddle which is why you can see that little instruction manual is sitting there on the island. We love it. It's awesome. So anyway, I'm continuing to put everything away, get everything cleared off and um, now I'm moving everything from the L-shaped countertops to the island. This way I can really spray everything down really well and scrub it down and I'm not working around any items other than things like the sink, which is obviously permanent. So I'm going through and I'm just really cleaning as well as I can and you'll see me duck down a lot and that's because that way I can see when I'm at eye level if there are still crumbs or spots on the countertops. Because of the movement that is on the countertops in the granite, it's sometimes hard to tell so I like being able to crouch down. Right now I'm scrubbing down the refrigerator and now I'm cleaning out the sink with a little bit of dish soap. The thing that I use, the product that I use to clean my kitchen is Thieves Household Cleaner which I will talk about in a future vlog, but basically it's a concentrate and you mix it with water. And those two amber bottles that I have are both Thieves Household Cleaner. I love it, it's a plant-based natural cleaner and it works great, love using it in the kitchen. So here I'm making a little bit more of it. Now moving on to our little dining nook area. I'm just clearing off the table, spraying it down with Thieves again, and then wiping down both the table and the chairs. Then I'm moving all the chairs out of the room, throwing Charlie's mat into the washing machine, wiping down the standing mat, and vacuuming the tile. I always like to vacuum before I mop because I like to pick up all of the crumbs. I hate when I'm mopping and there's little crumbs stuck to everything. And then in places like where Charlie's food dish is and in the corners, I will pull the um, suction off of the vacuum and get down there so that I can really get all of those crumbs out and all of that just junk out of there. So that's what I'm doing right here. That's why I'm sitting on the floor and scooting around. I'm using the suction on the vacuum to get under the countertops um, and under the cabinets where it's really challenging. And now I'm in my laundry room doing the same thing. It's a laundry room slash pantry. So there's always dryer lint and sometimes crumbs from the food that's in there as well. So just trying to get everything crumb free before I mop. Now I'm moving on to mopping and I am obsessed with this mop. It is so much better than the Swiffer that I used to have. It is a trigger release so you can, and, and it's completely refillable. You don't have to do any special thing to make it refillable. That's how it comes. I will link it below. I bought it off of Amazon and I've been so, so, so happy with it. And so it's a quick way to just mop through and I love that the pad on it is washable and reusable. Now I'm taking a quick cell phone break because that's a lot of hard work scrubbing down a kitchen and moving on to the den. So in the den the first thing I do is I'm just doing the same thing using the suction especially around that back door and that back wall and that back corner. Um, we get lots of cobwebs and lots of just little debris from Charlie our dog coming in and out. And then I'm just wiping down the tray, wiping down the window sills, wiping down um, the TV bookcase because it gets super, super dusty back there, especially in the fall and winter when we have fires all the time. All that, oh, it gets so dusty. So it's not as bad now because it's the summertime, but I'm still going through all of the different shelves and the window sills and just getting everything completely wiped down before I get ready to vacuum. 
So this room doesn't have a whole, it's, it's quite small and it doesn't have a whole lot of vacuum that, um, excuse me, carpet that's actually showing. So it's a pretty quick vacuum. I'm just kind of running it through and making sure to get under that table and around the ottoman and everything like that. Now moving on into the living room. This is our, the front room in our house and unfortunately it's white carpet so it picks up everything. And so after I pick up and tidy, just pull some shoes and put them away and pick up one of Charlie's toys and put it away, I am wiping down the coffee table. I like to use Windex on the top because it's glass and then I'm just using thieves for everything else. So the windowsills, the end tables, um, and then Charlie's nose, our dog's nose, our smudges are always all over those front windows, so I'm wiping those down as well. So once everything's wiped down and the pillows are fluffed, now I'm coming in and vacuuming this front room, which is my least favorite room in the house to vacuum because it is the largest, it has the most carpet. We're looking into getting some um, laminate flooring that looks like hardwood in this front room. It's vinyl because this white carpet man, I don't know what the builder was thinking. It is not the best for high, a high traffic area like the front of the house. We do have this little tile pad um, landing right when you walk in, so I vacuumed that and then went ahead and mopped that down as well, and that gets really dirty. Now we're in the guest bathroom, and um, I just deep cleaned this a few days ago, but because we're having guests, I'm doing another once over where I'm just wiping down everything, the mirror, the countertop. I cleaned the toilet, but I didn't put that on camera because I didn't think anybody would wanna see that. Emptied the trash in the bathroom, and then just gave it a good mop. I've already scrubbed down the tub and the shower and no one has used it so no reason to do that again now I'm in the guest room because like, like I said we are having guests um, I'm giving that a nice vacuum and I already had given that a wipe down and dusted it earlier in the week same with a secondary bedroom you just saw that is we call it Riley's room he has his stuff in it but we um, are going to use that for two of our guests so we had to clean that down now I'm in our master Wiping down the countertop and the mirror, I gave the bathtub and the toilet and the shower all a scrub a couple days ago, so I just needed to do the bathroom um, counter and the mirror and then just vacuum our bedroom really quickly because it always feels good to get in bed at night with vacuum lines on the carpet. So I'm going ahead and doing that. And then once that's done, the very last thing that I'm doing today is to mop our master bathroom. Well, it is 5.06 p.m. I have been cleaning all day long, but I'm done and our house is super spotless and clean. So I'm just gonna do a quick once over around the house and then I'm gonna wrap this vlog up. In the front of the house, the tile is cleaned and mopped. All of the carpet is vacuumed. I wiped down all the window sills, the side tables, the lamps, that tray. The bottom part of the coffee table, the top part of the coffee table, I dusted all of that. I dusted everything in the office, including the bookshelf, my desk, the top of this little sofa back bookshelf. I vacuumed the floors, organized everything. I wiped off this, deep, deep, deep cleaned the kitchen. That's the deepest clean I've done in the kitchen in a few months now cleaned off over here, vacuum and mopped the kitchen floor, dusted and vacuumed the entire den area. Back in the little guest room area, I, I have already deep cleaned this bathroom recently, so I just did a little wipe down. The guest room was clean, it just needed a little dusting and vacuuming, which I did. This room is the room where the other guests will be staying in, but I haven't set it up yet, so I did it a little vacuum in there. I still need to set up the bed in there and everything, but at least it's vacuumed. Here in our bedroom, I dusted all of the surfaces and I vacuumed the carpet. And then in our bathroom, I had already cleaned the tub, but I cleaned the mirror and the counters and the um, tile and then the toilet. And then back in our closet, I vacuumed as well. So our entire home is completely clean. 
And with that, I'm going to wrap this video up. I know that I did not share in detail what I use to clean each item, but I have linked most of them below. And in my next weekly vlog, which will be up on Monday, weekly vlog number 41, I'm going to go through my whole cleaning caddy and explain what's in you know, all the different bottles in my cleaning caddy. So stay tuned for that if you're interested in more about specifically what I actually use to clean. But I have linked below my vacuum, which I've had since 2013 and I love, um, my mop, which I love very much. Um, I've, I've linked a few things that I'm able to link below. But if you want more information, stay tuned for weekly vlog number 41 because I will share all of my information on everything that I use to clean in that vlog. I really appreciate you watching this. I've never done a video like this, although I've had a lot of requests to clean with me. So if you enjoyed this, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and a comment below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel for more homemaking style content. I like to do that a lot and I'm trying to do more of it because it seems like there's definitely an interest in things like that. I know I love watching videos like this when I'm feeling unmotivated to clean because it motivates me to get off my tail. Um, so anyway, thanks so much for watching and for following along and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.